Hey you guys, so I'm doing a vlog today. I know you guys haven't seen me in full effect lately. So what's up party people? Woo, there it is. I don't know, for some reason that song popped in my head. So I'm waiting for my kitchen floor to get dry. So I'm gonna wipe down some cabinets and clean my oven and stove and you know, real exciting shit. Shit I really don't like to do. But I'm really not going to allow anybody else to do it. Because I don't want them coming in here and stealing my stuff. So right now while I'm talking to you, I'm going to shampoo my hair. Yes, I use shampoo. This is the Ion Hard Water Shampoo. Don't come on here on this floor. I just mopped it. Don't walk up in here. And you're going to walk in here anyway. I'm talking to my cat just disobedient just like a child I wanted to talk to you guys about credit card fraud and what some of these banks are doing to protect the consumers it's a good thing however at the same time it's inconveniencing us the customers so what you get out of here on my floor you just making footprints all over the damn place <sighs> every time I clean anyway um guess what they put two left-handed gloves in the package and I just don't feel like going back to the store to get another one now if you have a credit card or a debit card there has been a lot of scams a lot of theft that has been going on so the banks are taking extra precaution to protect themselves against this and they have a tendency to go ahead and suspend or freeze your account now there are ways there's a way that you can accidentally unknowingly freeze your credit card account and that is if you go to a big box store like a Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Best Buy if you go to these types of stores back to back it delivers a red flag because what these do is if they get somebody's card they'll do a really quick shopping spring within a few hours go through use credit and then they'll drop the card and then pick up a new one so if you go to big box stores and you 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 are using your debit card and you're hitting credit and not debit that sends the bank a red flag because if somebody steals your credit card they're not going to know your pin number so they can't use your pin number and we all know that uh everybody has their own pin number nobody should know what your pin number is no regardless of who you are don't trust people with that type of information states that are have higher numbers of credit card fraud credit card theft and those states are texas california florida new york and some other states but um those are like the main uh states that give off red flags so if you travel a lot or you intend on traveling call your bank or credit card company and let them know where you're going how long you're going to be there so then that way they will not be freezing your account and you won't get somewhere and you don't have a way to pay for it so i always try to have cash uh, if you have checks, still have checks, have some checks on you. If you're going to go to an ATM machine, try to go to an ATM machine that is inside because sometimes people will film you with some fancy dancy uh, binoculars and get your information and do a shopping spring and go online and go crazy try to go into the bank and get some money if you can or if you're in a store and they ask you for cash back do it that way too uh, you want to go ahead and program your 
800 number to your credit card company or to your bank because if you get somewhere and you really need these items you're gonna have to call the bank right there on the spot so the transaction can go ahead and go through if you're going somewhere where it's a lot of people like a mall or amusement park you might want to get one of these this is a illuminated wallet is supposed to prevent a thief from scanning your credit card information and going online and going on a shopping spree. I know that these are always several steps ahead of us. This cost me maybe about $10 or so. I got it from Macy's in the men's department. I know some people that have gotten scanned. In particular, they were in the mall and what was suspicious about it is people were either following them around in the store or bumping into them. But it's not strange for people to bump into you if it's crowded, but they were bumping and being bumped into and the store wasn't necessarily crowded. There was no reason for the person to be in their personal space. So that was a red flag. Um, they can scan your credit card information without really getting close to you these people would just happen to be amateurs it's gonna be a lot more stealing and fraud because people aren't working you there's a lot of people in society who just you know think that they, they just have a mentality they don't want to pay for stuff they want stuff for free so um we unfortunately the banks have to eat it and then we have to eat it and we get all this extra bank fees that we have to pay to try to you know make up for the situation i'm not doing this video to make you paranoid even the most careful person it can happen to and what they're also doing is if a bank sees suspicious behavior they're not necessarily contacting people they are suspending cards and they're hurrying up and they're resubmitting cards and mailing cards to people even if your card is not up for expiration they just automatically just kill the card after that suspicious transaction so i just want to do this video and um i'm pretty much done cleaning the stove and i'll check y'all later